what the hell are we doing here, us humans on this earth? How do you think of humans? How special are humans? How did human civilization originate on this earth? And what is this human project that we're all taking on? You mentioned uh, fire and water, and apparently bleeding you to death is not a good idea. I thought, always thought you can get the demons out in that way, but um, that was a recent invention. So what what's this thing we're doing here? I think what distinguishes uh, human beings from all the other creatures on the earth is is our ability to engineer. We're engineers, right? To solve problems or just build incredible, cool things? Engineering, harnessing energy and technique to make the world a better place than you found it. Right? From the point that we actually started to play with fire, right? That, that was a big leap forward. Uh, harnessing the power of, of kinetic energy and missiles, another, another step forward. Every city built on water. Why water? Well, water is uh, bringing energy, right? If you actually, if you actually put a turbine, you know, on a river, or or you, uh, or you capture a change in elevation of water, you've literally harnessed gravitational energy. But you know, water is also bringing you food. It's also giving you, you know, a cheap form of uh, getting rid of your waste. It's also giving you free transportation. You want to move one ton blocks around. You want to move them in water. So I think, I mean, the, the the human story is really the story of engineering a better world. Um, and and uh, the rise in the human condition is determined by those uh, groups of people, those civilizations that were best at harnessing energy. Right? If you if you look. You know the Greek civilization; they built it around around ports and seaports and and water, and created a trading network. The Romans were really good at harnessing all sorts of of engineering. I mean, the aqueducts are a great example. If you go to any big city, you travel through cities in the Med, you find that you know the carrying capacity of a, of the city or the island is five thousand people without running water and then if you can find a way to bring water to it, it increases by a factor of 10 and so human flourishing is really only possible through that channeling of energy right that eventually takes the the form of uh air power right i mean that ship i mean look look at the intricacy of those sails I mean, it's just the model is intricate. Now think about all of the experimentation that took place to figure out how many sails to put on that ship and how to rig them and how to repair them and how to operate them. There's thousands of lives spent thinking through all the tiny little details, um, all to increase the efficiency of this, the effectiveness, the efficiency of this ship as it sails the water. And we should also note there's a bunch of cannons on the side. So obviously. Another form of en engineering, right? Uh, energy harnessing with explosives. To achieve what end? That's another discussion, exactly.